Hey Star Wars fans and Black Series action figure collectors, welcome back to a new review. Bodhi Rook, finally! It's uh, taken six, five or six years now, five, just over five years, for Bodhi to get a Black Series figure. I know he's sort of towards the end of production, his role was sort of upgraded and, and inclus included a little bit more, so maybe early in production, you know, we all know that Rogue One got quite a lot of overhauls um, during production, so it's, it sounds more likely that his role was sort of expanded before the film's release, as opposed to, um, you know, not really having the sort of pr pr beforehand, <laughs> let me remember how to talk, beforehand, um, <clears throat> it seemed like maybe his role wasn't big enough to justify having an action figure, but um, yeah, we finally got him and he looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really looking forward to getting updates of all the crew. I do have Jin um, here with me as well, so I'll be reviewing that and comparing it to the old version of Jin. And uh, yeah, hopefully Cassian will be here in the next week or two. Um, still need to put in an order for Baze and Chirrut. I'd love to update those two. And uh, yeah, K2 I'm not going to worry about because he hasn't really changed much. So let's crack open Bodhi Rook and have a look at the figure. Alright, here is Bodhi and he's looking fantastic, really, really digging this figure. I think it's, it just, it feels like we've waited so long for this guy. Um, it's great to finally have him in 6 inch action figure form. Uh, hopefully a TVC release for the 3 and 3 quarter one would be very cool um, in the future. So yeah, before that we'll get a look at his accessories. He does come with this uh, blaster, which is it's cool, we've seen this before. Um, just your sort of standard Rebel blaster, which works okay. We have his uh, his sort of cable um, thing, cable extension cord. That's basically what it is, isn't it? It's, a, it's just a big old extension cord. Um, and yeah, I haven't really worked out how this thing operates yet. I think I've broken it already. No, I haven't. No. It's all good. Just got to jam some string. But yeah, not really sure on how to wind this thing up yet. Um, whether that needs to come off and just wind up by hand. I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't worked that out yet. We'll see. I'll work it out afterwards. That's a job for, that's a job for later on. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that operates. But uh, yeah, you got the cord, you got the handle, little peg on the side that will hold that as well. So that's cool. Just to keep it out of the way. And once I roll it back up, that'll, that'll look nice. Uh, the sort of straps on here as well, they're quite loose, so you'll be able to get this on the figure quite easily, and we'll do that just in a moment, but we'll take a look at the figure beforehand. But yeah, some cool details on it, looks good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll chuck that on Bodhi in a minute. So let's take a look. I think there's a great likeness here of Riz Ahmed. I think he looks fantastic. He even has goggles. So proving that Hasbro can do goggles. Uh, they aren't one individual piece, so the strap is actually moulded to the head. Um, and this is an extra piece, is just sort of glued on afterwards. So, yeah, not quite removable goggles, but that's okay. I think Bodhi sort of suits the goggles anyway. Um, and I don't think he takes them off, I don't recall. It's, it's Honestly, it's been a little while since I watched Rogue One, I need to fix that. So yeah, good articulation on the neck. Yeah, you would have heard that crack. It was just a little bit of like painted stuck on or something somewhere. But yeah, lots of great movement in the head there. Um, yeah, he's got all the articulation you want. Butterfly joints in the arms and the shoulders there. Um, nice details sort of on the sleeves. Of the Imperial cog there on each of the shoulders. Got his vest here, his sort of utility vest. A few nice little details, like the thing there, that thing, little silver buckle. We could be easily touch this up with some more little, little bits, maybe even a wash just to sort of dirty that up a little bit, but that's fine. Paint a little bit of silver on those individual buckles down the back there as well, but yeah, it's it's not too bad at all. It's fine. So yeah, we've got his sort of, just sort of standard tracksuit pants, jumpsuit pants, whatever you want to call it, and uh, boots. So yeah, nice, nicely sculpted looks good all over 
and uh, yeah, he's looking quite good. I'm digging Bodie. It's 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 so good to have him in the collection finally. So let's uh, let's put this thing on and uh, see how easy it is. It's, it shouldn't be difficult. A little bit of fiddling around would probably get it to sit a little bit nicer, but uh, yeah, it sits. That sits okay. Doesn't feel too heavy too. I know the problem with Bay's Malbus is that his backpack was quite top heavy. Um, there was a fair chunk of plastic and it did weigh the figure down a little bit backwards. This one seems to be okay. This is, it's a nice light accessory. It's not made of too heavy a plastic. Um, and yeah, it looks good. It looks, you know, works part of the character. So before his um, untimely demise. Yeah, I, I really like Bodio. He's a great character. Um, yeah, his his death at the end was probably one of the one of the hardest to watch. You know, he's just decided to do some good with his life and uh, do the right thing, and uh, yeah, just sort of gets caught in the caught in the middle of it. Much like the rest of the crew of Rogue One, really, they all just sort of get caught in the caught in the wrong place, and uh, you know, doing fighting for the greater good. But yeah, I'm digging Bodhi. Love to hear what your thoughts are. Please comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That would be super duper cool and awesome, and I will love you forever. Okay, maybe maybe not forever, but for a long time. All right, <laughs> that is Bodhi Rook. Yeah, again, please drop your thoughts in the comments. Love to hear what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Until my next one, may the force be with you always.